What's going on YouTube? And today we're gonna to be making like a matching game. We're gonna generate like two random numbers from like a range of user inputs, and then we're gonna compare them. And if they match, we could say these numbers match, and if they don't, we could say like try again next time. So to do this, we're gonna need a scanner to get user input. I call my scanners SC and R to short for scanner. And set that equal to scanner, new scanner, system got in. Okay. And then we could ask the user to input like the max number we want to generate from. So we could say, enter the max number to generate from. So the enter five, we're gonna pick numbers one through five. And if one through five match, if two of those numbers match, we could print you in. And then we could store that into a variable, we could call it max, set that equal to scanner dot next int. Okay. And then we're gonna need like a random object. We could do Random R A N D. You can name this whatever, but I'm just naming it rand, short for random. Equals new random. And we're going to be using this rand object to generate random numbers. Okay. So, how would we do this? We could, um, so first we're actually going to need two variable numbers. We could say int num1 and then num2. So, we actually have those two numbers. We just got to fill them up with like, or like, um, we actually got to get the num like the random numbers and put them into these variables. So we can have another method we could call get. We say get random, and then we can we could pass like a, our random object we just created in our max value. So let's pass random and then max into there. In order to do that, we actually have to create like the actual method. So we could say public static int. And we call it get random. And this method is going to accept the random object. Random. We just call it random. And then an integer, and then an integer um, uh, variable. We could call it uh, maximum. Or max. Uh, I can't spell. <laughs> okay. And then it's going to have to return something. So let's let's just return max by like by default. Okay, so we could say, we could set num1 equal to get random, and then num2 equal to get random. That way when this method is like all done, it's gonna return a random number and store it in num1 num and then num2. So now we just gotta figure out how to get the random number here. We could say, so we could, we have to return something because it's, it's not a void um, method. We could say return, we could do int. And we could uh, we have the maximum variable in here. That's what the user enters as like the range you want to print numbers from. We could do maximum plus one. Say they enter five, or we call their a random object something else. We call it random. Say they enter five, it's going to generate numbers one through five, and it's going to actually return them. And then it's going to get stored in the num one and the num two. And then we could do something with those numbers. So we could do an if statement. We could say if Let's see how we do this. If oh, we actually need another. We actually need like another method to compare them. So we could say we could say our we can name a different variable in result. Int result and have that equal to like a um, to another method we can call compare. And we haven't created this method yet. We're just like like writing it out. And then we could send num one in there. And num two. Okay, it's we're getting an error because the actual method is not made yet. I'm writing this off like the top of my head, so there's a couple mistakes. I'm sorry. Well, we'll get this program working, and then we could say public static, and we want to return. We can return in again, and we call it compare. And in here, we're gonna take two integer values. We could say int x and int y so int x corresponds to num1 and then int y corresponds to num2 now we just have to write the logic behind it and we're gonna have to return something so let's just return y by default that doesn't mean nothing quite yet so we could say if we just have to compare them if int x equals equals y we could return 2 because those two numbers are, are the same Let's get a curly braces correct. 
Okay. And if not, we can just return zero by default. So this method is going to compare to our two um, num1 values. Our num1 and num2 are two um, variables. It's going to store them as x and y. And if x equals equals y, that means they're the same. We're going to return two. And then we can do something with it with an if statement. But if it's not, it's just going to return zero by default. So we could say if result, say if result equals two, equals equals two. And then we could print out. Let's say this out num1 matches num2. Okay, and then we could do another print statement and say uh, you win because it's two because it's two numbers match. Let's say you win. But if that's not the case, you can say else. We just literally copy this print statement right here. We can say num1 does not match num2. And then type it. We could have it print out. Try again. So if I'm not mistaken, our program should be done. We're calling everything from the main method. We defined a get random method and it's going to return a random integer and stored inside num1 and then num2 and then we made another method called compare and it's going to take a num1 as num2 as arguments and it's going to either return 2 if the numbers are the same or it's going to return 0 if the numbers are different and then we're, if we're going to say if result equals 2 that means the numbers are like the same and they match and we win and if not the numbers don't match and you don't win anything you gotta try again so let's run it for the first time Enter the max numbers to generate from. So if we do two, we should win every time. Two matches, two. Yeah, you win. Let's try it again. Three. One does that match three. Try again. So we lose. Let's do one. Oop. Let's do one. Enter max numbers to generate from. Oh. One. One matches one. You win. Let's do five. Five does not match three. You do not win. Try again. Let's have it say you do not win instead of try again. This is just a simple little program. You did not win. So if we do one, one should always match one. And two is like 50% chance of winning. One matches one, let's try two again. Two matches two. Two does not match one, you did not win. So it looks like our program's working. And if this helped you at all, or you just like watching, leave a like and subscribe. I'm still, I'm still trying to hit like a thousand subs by the end of the year.